This is a great book on linear algebra that I think is a classic and everyone should own. It's called Linear Algebra. It's by Lipschitz. And it's from the Shams Outline series. So I really like the Shams series because they have a lot of examples and they have a lot of solved problems and everything is organized in a very encyclopedic way. So it's very easy to find things. This one is from 1968. This is probably the first edition. Seymour Lipschitz. So let's look at the contents here so you can see what it contains. So vectors in Rn and Cn, linear equations, matrices, vector spaces and subspaces, basis, basis and dimension, linear mappings. So it's just basically linear algebra, matrices and linear operators, determinants, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, canonical forms, linear functionals, and the dual space. So it does cover that, but not until chapter 11. Interesting. Bilinear, quadratic, and Hermitian forms, inner product spaces, sets and relations, algebraic structures, polynomials over a field. Yeah. And so so it's got, here's the intro. It starts like this. It's just like a little introductory section. You can sit down. You can read it. Then you turn the page. Then you have another little subsection here. And then you have a really easy vector addition, multiplication, the dot product. All this is very simple mathematics. Norman distance. Just a formula you use. All right, so you go through it. Then it goes into Cauchy-Schwartz, okay? Now, it doesn't prove it here, okay, but it, uh, you could prove it, but it doesn't give you the proof right here. Complex numbers, talks about those. And then it goes into solve problems. So it gives you all these problems that are solved, which is really nice. I mean, look at all of those problems, right? And then they're organized by subsection. Subsection, you see how it has uh, vectors in Rn up here, and then over here it's dot product. And then here it's distance and norm. So you get to practice from those little subsections. So you can theory, read the subsection and then and then jump to the exercises. So you could do like, um, you could read you know, the vectors in Rn section or, or vector addition and scalar multiplication. Yeah, I guess that's going to be all of this too. Vectors in Rn is going to be all of that. So vectors in Rn will actually be, I think, yeah, it's going to include all of this, I think. Just not include the dot product, because the dot product starts next. So, just identify the subsections. It's like distance in norm and Rn. That's just going to be norm and distance in Rn, probably. Just this little subsection here. And perhaps some information that you needed in order to get here. So, that's something else to keep in mind, right? Because it's a math book, and several subjects are very linear in nature, and linear algebra being one of them. Um, there's a lot of theorems and propositions that build on other theorems and propositions, and so uh, there's a lot of knowledge there. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, this is nice. The vector space of polynomials with real coefficients. Yeah. W is all the polynomials with the integral coefficients. Is that a subspace? All polynomials with degree less than or equal to 3. Is that a subspace? Polynomials of this form with only even powers of t. Is that a subspace? So we have to check all of these. Now, I don't know if this one has answers, like 415. Well, I guess they do check them here. One, two, and three. Yeah, they do them really quickly. They do give you the answers there. Sometimes they have exercises near the end. Here we go. Supplementary problems, where they don't give you the answers. I thought we were looking at those. We're not there yet. Here we are. Supplementary problems. So this is where they give you the answers. And um, they, where they don't give you the answers, right? Sometimes they have them in the back of the book or here. Boom, there it is. So this one does give you the answers to the supplementary problems. Not all of them, though, like 47. Where's 48 and 49? Let's go back. So here's 48 and 49. They're proofs. Okay, they want you to prove some stuff. Well, it's 49. And then 48, 48 is here. Yeah, it's a proof also. So if you go to the answers, there's no 48 and 49. They give you 50. They give you two parts of 50. 50 is uh, a big proof. Yeah, so you have to do a bunch of stuff here. Show that W is a subspace of V in each of the following cases. Wow, that's cool. You can make, it's pretty cool. Pretty, a lot of problems here. A lot of exercises. All right, look at that. So we've got all bounded functions. Okay, cool. All even functions, all continuous functions, all differentiable functions. Uh, all integrable functions in any way. 
in, in say, the interval 0, 1. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, this is just an interesting book. I thought I would uh, show it all to you because uh, it, uh, it can be used to supplement your course. So if you're taking a linear algebra course in college, this can make a, a great supplement. Um, it can also be used for self-study. This is one of the better ones. It's, got, it's probably going to have what you're looking for. You can look in the, um, uh, in the index back here, and you can find what you're looking for. Um, so like, let's say you forgot, you want to look up diagonalization. So there it is. And then 288, 290, 155, 199. So you've got a couple places there you can go uh, and look that up. The Jordan canonical form, right? This is something that uh, is often taught uh, and is often confusing. <laughs> so I remember the first time learning it thinking, oh no, here's the rational. And there's not a lot of examples, even in here, right? So I actually think I might have videos on the Jordan form. I think I... Hopefully I, I did those at some point because I remember struggling to learn it and having to look in various books to find examples. I'm like, why are there not more examples of how to find the Jordan form? But it's like multiplying cycles. It's really hard to find examples of that in books, cycle multiplication and symmetric groups. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this book. It's pretty cool. Um, I like it. I'll try to leave a link in the description of this video to this book in case you want to check it out. Also, if you want to learn math, I do have math courses. I don't have a linear algebra course yet, but I do have like algebra, trig, calculus. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. The courses are actually on Udemy, but if you decide to get my courses, please use my links because it helps me and I lowered the prices, so you should be able to get a really low price if you use my links. But yeah, I've got uh, algebra, calculus, differential equations, stuff like that. Uh, we do do some linear algebra in the differential equations course I have, um, like just a little bit. Um, when you study uh, higher order linear differential equations with constant coefficients, um, you can bring in, typically these books bring in some linear algebra and discuss that. Um, but yeah, nice book, nice book. Oh, and I do have another, an, another uh, channel. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer. So uh, check that out uh, if you're interested in fitness. But yeah, if you take away anything from this video, it should be that this book is I think, I, I don't know, this is probably one of the better linear algebra books. There's other good linear algebra books out there, um, like the one by Anton is just like a beginner one. The one by Friedberg is more advanced. Those would be like textbooks you could use that would go with this. But um, this one is, is very unique because of all the topics it contains. Like you're gonna find so much, and you're gonna get a lot of exercises. Uh, you know, you don't have answers to all of them, but you do get a lot of problems with solutions you can work through or shake your answer with, so. It's kind of nice, and a lot of times in these shams, they'll prove some of the bigger things in the exercises. Like, there'll be an exercise, and then in your book, that exercise will be like a proposition, or a lemma, or a theorem. So, they'll prove some of the bigger things that oftentimes textbooks will state, which is kind of fun. That's something else you get from a shams, in particular this one. So, anyways, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.